Star Wars is filled with a whole galaxy of incredible planets, from the dusty dunes of Tatooine to the frozen wasteland of Hoth. Even though the galaxy in Star Wars is science fiction, the planets that make it up aren't too unlike the planets in our own Milky Way galaxy. Thanks to NASA, we now know that there are around 20 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. This is Googleplex, and here is seven fascinating planets in the Milky Way galaxy that are strikingly similar to the crazy worlds in Star Wars. Coruscant You'll remember Coruscant as the planet with the big city that housed the Galactic Senate and seemed really advanced compared to places like Tatooine. Well, Kepler 452b may or may not have any massive cities on it, but it's been around for about a billion years longer than Earth. So there's a chance that it has progressed nicely and might look a little something like the fictional Coruscant. Mustafar Mustafar is the molten planet where Anakin went from being Obi-Wan's brother to Darth Vader. It looks like Kepler 10b and Kepler 78b, molten lava-covered rocky planets in earth size range. But Karat 7b, a 3600-degree Fahrenheit planet, beats both Kepler 10b and Kepler 78b when it comes to a scorching hot atmosphere, certainly hot enough to be a Mustafar twin. Karat 7b is a highly dense planet that is so close to its sun, the entire surface is essentially molten rock. Bezpin, a giant gas planet with a comfortable upper layer of atmosphere, hospitable for human life. Bespin is best known for its massive hovering cloud cities which float high above the harsh environment of the gas giant's core below. Astronomers using Kepler have discovered what they call a Jupiter twin 186 light years from Earth. It would likely have a similar composition to Bespin, although it might not have the same convenient breathable layer of atmosphere where people could build cities. Elderon Princess Leia's home planet, Alderaan, is blasted by the Empire's Death Star in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Similar to this scenario, a white dwarf star was caught in the act of devouring the last bits of a small planet in 2015. White dwarfs are super dense stellar remains, but they have gravity more than 10,000 times that of our sun's surface and can destroy anything caught up in their poles. Tatooine Luke Skywalker's home planet Tatooine is said to possess a harsh desert environment swept by sandstorms as it roasts under the glare of twin suns. Just like its fictional brethren, Kepler 16b has two suns. However, its stars are a lot cooler than our own sun, so Kepler 16b probably can't support life. A person on Kepler 16b would have two shadows. In a storm, two rainbows would appear. Each sunset would be unique because the stars are always changing their configuration. Hoth The frozen ice world of Hoth is a small terrestrial planet blanketed by snow and ice. It notably hosts Echo Base, the temporary headquarters of the Alliance to restore the Republic. The freezing climate, although habitable, is too cold for intelligent life to develop. If you're searching the galaxy for Tauntauns, Ogle 2005 BLG 390 might just be the place to look. This icy world sits near the center of the Milky Way. It has an estimated surface temperature of minus 364 degrees Fahrenheit. Our galaxy's Hoth is too cold to support life as we know it. Even the Wampas wouldn't be able to stand the chill. Camino Residing in a remote sector of the galaxy, Camino is a large blue world completely covered in miles of ocean water. Native species have all evolved to reside within the water, and land creatures are forced to live on massive cities erected from the ocean floor up to above sea level. Kepler 22b, analog to the Star Wars planet Camino, is a super Earth that could be covered in a super ocean. Scientists aren't 100% sure about its composition, but they suspect the planet is covered in a shallow ocean. The shallow water would absorb heat in the summer and release it in the winter, so the planet likely has mild spring-like weather all year round. Not a bad spot to hide a clone army. 
Eventually, humans might even be able to jump into their own Millennium Falcon and explore these planets, as long as we can get the hyperdrive working, that is. Then you'll be able to see some of the real-life planets and their Star Wars equivalents in person. What planet would you like to visit? Share your choice in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to Googleplex and turn on post notifications. There's lots of fascinating stuff ahead.